look at this. Look what we have here. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> okay, uh, here, take my money and uh, give me the... <laughs> <laughs> Hi everyone, this is Samuel and this is my GR project. It all began in 2013 when I got my first Ricoh GR. The camera that became very personal to me because I was capturing and documenting the best years of my 20s and it also introduced me into the world of street photography. Which, if you are following my channel, is a big deal to me. I also experimented using other cameras and brands, but now that I am back with the GR3, I realize how much I miss this little beast, especially when I travel. So, in honor to my GR love story, I want to travel to different countries visiting other GR photographers to share the same excitement I had in 2013 traveling with nothing but my GR. Can you give us a little introduction? Who are you or what are you doing and maybe also where we are? Okay, so my name is J. Barros. We are here in El Muelle in the best coffee in Santiago de Compostela. I am a street photographer and a photographic teacher. I have a blog, it's jbarros.com and, and that's it. I love photography and I love teaching and I love sharing everything about photography. And you love Soul Lighter. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I miss so later. <laughs> I have so many favorite photographers, but so later is one of them, definitely, because he was doing something that no one else was doing, and I think it's, it's awesome, awesome. Doing something different from the others is, is great. It's, I think it's what we should all do, but it's, it's very difficult. Yeah. So you're also teaching street photography workshops, yeah. right? And you just came from one. Yeah, this, this weekend I was in, in, in Barcelona, I was teaching there a, a workshop. I teach workshops in Spain and, and outside of Spain as well. Yeah, always two or three days, depending on the city. Yeah. yeah. And how is the uh, street photography scene in Spain? Do you know it well? Is it? Yeah, I know it quite yeah. well because well, I was I was doing street photography, street photography, even before I was I, I knew it was called street photography, but now it's a very interesting scene, especially in the in the north, in Madrid, in Barcelona, in, in Andalusia, in Valencia. Well, there, there are lots of street photographers in Spain. I think it's they are doing great things. What are the most important names everyone should know from from Spain? Wow, this is a tricky question. Yeah. I think, well, of course, you, you should know Pau Buscato. Uh, he's, he's awesome. They should know Orieta Geraldine, for example, Alberto Pereira, uh, David Fidalgo, uh, Javier Oliva. Uh, I don't know, there are many, many, many names. Yeah. But why here? What is so special about this place? Well, I love Santiago. Uh, 
I, there are uh, there are many people from many places and uh, there, there's always a lot of movement in the streets. I love the old town of Santiago. I think it's uh, beautiful and I don't know, I'm, I'm feeling like home in, in Santiago. What do you think we can go first? What should we check out or what can we even do in the rain? <laughs> we definitely have to go to the oldest part of the town and we will find a lot of uh, pilgrims, especially pilgrims and tourists and students because the university here in Santiago is very very important. Oh yeah, I heard it's a very um, popular city for students. Yes, because the university is one of the oldest uh, universities in, in the world here and so yeah there are many many students and many many students uh, cursing Erasmus, you know the interchange program between yeah. universities in Europe. So we find a lot of people especially in this part of the town, the old part. The old town, right? Yeah, this is the old town, yeah. and now we're, we're going to the we are going to the Obradoiro Square, Plaza Obradoiro. Mm -hmm. Is it the big cathedral? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ah, okay. Have you been there? No, but I, I looked it up uh, on on YouTube, and yeah, I saw that all the pilgrims they come and then yeah. they lay on the ground and like yeah we yes, made it. This is the end of the of El yeah. Camino. Ah, okay, yes. good. Now our Camino starts. <laughs> 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 A short one. <laughs> this and you, you look like a like a tourist yeah. yeah in fact I'm being in my town in Orense mm -hmm. there everyone knows me but if I using this camera no one is looking at me while I am taking pictures mm -hmm. but if I am um, carrying a, a DSLR or something like that it's, it's mm -hmm. much more difficult what would you photograph here what is uh, now in, yeah there are not many opportunities because yeah. it's raining, but... Uh, maybe the maybe raincoats, like color yeah, spots? The, I will yeah. look for the raincoats and for the colors. And maybe the expressions of the people looking at the cathedrals, mm -hmm. like that. You know, because the pilgrims, as they, as they get here, they are like... Yeah. <laughs> Focus? Yes, yeah? I use it all the time. Yeah? Yeah, I love it. W what is your distance? Well, because mine is always one meter. One and a yeah? half. One and a half? One and a half with F8, F8 mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. F11. Yeah, I have this, the user settings. One is set to 100,000. Mm -hmm. And F11, snapshot, snap focus at 1.5. And I'm mm -hmm. using the manual mode with the ISO in auto. Yeah. And when it's when there is no much light, I'm using this one, user two, is 100, 125 f4. But in this case, I am not using the snap focus because of the f4. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. too wide. Yeah. So I'm using the autofocus, but mm -hmm. it is quite uh, quite fast. So there's no problem. The good thing about the auto mode is that you can cho you can change the time and the aperture very easily. So in case that I want to have another aperture, I only have to move one finger. And mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah. it's good enough. I share all my secrets. I have no secrets. <laughs> 
too late. When we are when we are talking about the street photography, I have no secrets. <laughs> <laughs> so the the light here is very beautiful mm. when we have sun because the sun goes down right there, uh -huh. and the light goes here. Yeah. You have a very 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 long shadows. Mm. So this is the cathedral. This is the council. No. And this is the most important hotel in in Santiago. Oh. And the most expensive? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Oh, this is what you mean. Yeah, yeah. this is the Quintana. Oh. Why is this your favorite spot? Because it's so wide, you have so much space here. Mm. Yeah. Well, what happens here usually? <laughs> well, it's, it's, it's empty mm. most of the time, but during the night, mm. Every, every, everyone is in the main square, so you can be here alone, ah. hearing nothing. Okay. And it's it's great. You don't have a lot of light like in the other one. You mm. have a lot of light in during the night, but here you can stay with just one light here, another here. Mm -hmm. So it's it's perfect. I love silence, so oh. I love silence. So this is the place. If I want to come here again, what is the best time of the day? If, you want, if I want to take pictures, maybe first hour in the morning. Maybe with yeah. the, the, same, the sun has just uh, appeared, and, and the last hour during the afternoon. Okay, because oh. the light is is beautiful. You mm. know the. But up, the are shadows. people even up in yeah. the morning? Yeah, 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 huh? yeah, yeah, yeah. You find people. You won't find so many people like now, and I think it's good because. Mm -hmm. Sometimes, in, especially in the Obradoiro, that, that plenty of people is, is, is a problem. You cannot do anything. Uh -huh. And is there time I should avoid? Uh, <laughs> no? Here siesta the, time? Or no, no, there is no siesta time here. Okay. No, no, no. You always find a lot of people in Santiago. In the old okay. part of Santiago, you find a lot of people. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Maybe the problem in Santiago now is that everything is is for the tourists. Mm. You know, yeah. the Santiago Santiago has changed a lot in the last uh, ten years or so on. Um, yeah. In the past, uh, there were very very good places to eat and to have a drink, and now many of them are especially for the for the people that it's is not from here. It is not the problem. The problem is that many places look the same. You know, mm -hmm. they are not authentic places like in the past yeah you know in japan uh, we call it a tourist trap oh, yeah. tourist like trap, restaurants yeah. that look yeah. like uh, yeah like authentic local the, restaurants but they are not yeah, yeah they're not we have the same problem problem here yeah. in the past you can tell anyone to go to anywhere and now you have to say no 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 go there yeah. don't go there yeah. and i'll show you I, I think maybe it's it's open the the one of the best places to eat in Santiago. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is a very old one. Mm. But I think it's not going to be open maybe later. Okay. It's called the Gato El Gato Negro, the Black Cat. Mm. Okay. Sounds delicious already. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now it's it's closed. We have to go. Oh, it's closed because of holidays. Oh, oh okay. Ah, oh, this is the Oh, I see. Well, when do yeah. they open again? Uh, first of November. You won't be here. Oh um, no! <laughs> but there are there are other places, so no problem. <laughs> Which one do you want to eat? Uh, maybe this one. Yeah. This one? Oh, really? No, oh, he looks a good guy. Oh, I prefer this one. He looks. <laughs> he looks oh, hungry. It's so big. I heard uh, seafood is very good here. Yeah, and in Galicia there's the seafood. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. The seafood and the, the meat and the fish is very good in Galicia. Yeah. But especially tourists uh, came here for the seafood as well. <laughs> is this a shortcut? Yes, it is a shortcut. Mm. Uh, I realized there are so many tattoos, yeah. tattoo studios. Yes, so why is that? Many of the pilgrims get a tattoo here as soon oh. as they end the Camino. Ah. Yeah, they 
Yeah. As a souvenir. Yeah, as a souvenir tattoo. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so okay. We have a lot of tattoo shops here. Mm. You know, the arrow, the cross, and the shell. Mm. Something like this. So this is only a reference, you know. Mm. Every tattoo is custom. Yeah. Does it get annoying or like because you can so much more do so much no, more? I, I do everything. <laughs> so um, the uh, I tattoo sometimes traditional school mm. Japanese also oh, yeah. walkings like the shell. That yeah. that's the job. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Any ideas? Yeah, <laughs> Any yeah ideas? We but we, we should move. We can go that way. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think we can go to this uh, a, a park. You can see it that way. Oh! Yeah, this is the store I was talking about. This is the the photography oh. show. Okay. Oh, you you're yeah. going to sell your own yeah, prints? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I I have to make a selection of the prints mm. so that I can sell them here. Prints shot on Rico? <laughs> yeah, some of them. Yeah, <laughs> some of them. <laughs> nice. Tell me what? How would you describe your style, your photography style? Wow, <laughs> an, uh, yeah. tricky question again. Mm. Um, in the past, I was not sure if I had a, a style of no, so I was mm. quite worried about it. Yeah. But now I am not. I just try to take pictures and enjoy. Mm. But I am lately. I'm quite interested in the pictures that you are not very sure what you are looking at. Oh, okay. That's what I am trying to do right now. Mm -hmm. Okay. And well, I try to to find interesting things where where I live or where I where I travel because I think that the the best uh, part of a street photography is that it learns it teaches you how to to see and how to look mm -hmm. so I try to find interesting interesting things yeah. in the ordinary life so that's what I what I do the things could be just beautiful things or curious things or you know something that you won't see if I don't uh, show them in, in a picture. So yeah. that's that's what I that what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. Do you also work on uh, projects, or do you just collect and see if you have a project later? Uh, now I I have a couple of ideas to, yeah. to de develop as as projects, but. I, I've just started with them, so mm. until now I just I was just making pictures, taking pictures, and yeah. and then looking if if there is some connection. Mm. And lately, I'm I'm uploading pictures to my Instagram profile, mm. a set of three pictures that mm -hmm. they are related between them. Yeah. But I am not working in projects. Okay. I have not a project as it should be as I think mm -hmm. it should be. But I have a couple of ideas, and I. Yeah. I'm starting with them. I like that sometimes you can you can get a picture that, that is almost abstract, even if you are uh, photographing something that is absolutely normal. You don't have to show things as they are. You know, you can you can change the aspect of things, and I think it's. It's kind of magic. Ah, and you shoot mainly in color, right? Yeah, in the past I was shooting without thinking about color of black and white, but yeah. I realized that sometimes I was uh, changing the, the pictures to black and white so that they'd work, and I think it was uh, tricky. Uh -huh. It was uh, a bit tricky, so yeah. I decided to focus on color. Uh -huh. I take pictures in color, but I am not photographing color. I think it's, mm -hmm. it's a different. There is a difference. Okay. You know, what the color, it? the color is not. Um, it's not something that I that I taking. It's that not I think about of. The color. Yeah, it's not uh -huh. the the main subject. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. I see the pictures in color, but uh, 
most of the time the color is not the, sub the subject mm -hmm. of the pictures. Yeah. <laughs> we we see a lot of pic pictures with good light and sunny weather, but there's not always like this. So. Yeah. Mm. For example, so later has had many pictures of umbrellas. Ah, so later, yeah. Yeah, and with good weather, you you won't have no. umbrellas. Yeah, this. <laughs> <laughs> You are not so limited by, by the weather. You have the camera here, and uh, there is no problem. You can, if you don't take pictures, the camera is not a it's not a, a problem. As long as you are not making a YouTube video. Yeah, <laughs> it's worse. Look at the statue. Ah, yeah. Oh, this is what I saw online. Uh, on YouTube. <laughs> oh, wait, wait, let's see if I can do it. <laughs> Quick, get the GR. Oh, oh, <laughs> I don't know if I have. Oh. No, she's too far away, but it's also fun to have her here. Oh, yeah, we're well uh, done. I don't know, maybe. No, it's it's they are the Las Dos Marias, the two Marys. Mm -hmm. they, they were uh, women from here, from, from Santiago. They were always walking this park, so mm -hmm. they have a statue now. So maybe for another day, we can do some interesting uh, layers, something like that. Yeah. E easy street photography. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This is a writer. Yeah, what's the name? Yeah, the Ramon del Valle Inclán. Okay. Uh, a famous writer. And there you are, the cathedral. Mm. We were there. A couple of hours ago. Yeah. We made it! <laughs> yeah, we are Santiago. Every time yeah. I look at the cathedral now, I, I feel like I accomplished yeah. something. <laughs> So uh, I think the rain will not stop for us and no, it looks like, so. yeah, I mean there are not many people out because it's raining and yeah. although it's very beautiful, I, I really like the um, colorful umbrellas and the reflection on the ground, but it's kind of annoying to carry an umbrella, <laughs> yeah. But I might come back uh, and do some shooting on my own because I yeah, you should. You definitely still have should. a week. Yeah. Yeah. So, if okay. you're lucky, you, you, you'll see the sun in Santiago and it's very beautiful. Yesterday I saw but it. Not, not yeah. today. Not yeah, today. not today. Okay, so what's the plan? Are we going to have another coffee yeah, or I'll I take a break? Okay. Having another coffee is always a good idea, so yeah, I yeah. think it's, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> You can see, and, and my smartphone is, is, is quite small, and you can see it's, the Rico is even smaller. Is this a specialty for yeah. Santiago? No, not in Santiago, but in Spain. Mm. Yeah. With coffee. <laughs> You can have it, have them with coffee or with chocolate. Mm. Okay, bye bye. See you. See you. Enjoy. Hey. New day, <laughs> <laughs> new episode of uh, El Camino El Camino de Lico Diaro. <laughs> Lico Diaro. No, wh where are we going? We are going to a Coruña. Is um, a city is only 30 minutes by train, mm. and I teach photography there in a, yeah. in a school. It's called Banco Editorial. Mm -hmm. See right now, and I'm teaching there every every Wednesday. So I have to go from Santiago to a Coruña. Yeah. Yeah. Any tips for me for the city? 
Like where well, I should go? Uh, uh, Coruña is completely different from Santiago, so mm. you, you have to see the, the old town as well, but mm -hmm. the new part of Coruña is beautiful as well. Yeah. Okay, nice. Welcome to Banco, Banco Editorial. Where you can learn photography. Yeah. <laughs> Any favorites from you? Favorites. Favorite oh. photo book, or maybe from this one? Maybe from this one, I <laughs> I choose this Kudelka. Mm, yeah. yeah. Itanos from Kudelka is it's amazing. Well, yeah. Take a look at this. Yeah. And I love this one, Trent Park. Mm. Minutes to midnight. Yeah. This is one of my favorites. Yeah. Yeah, I like uh, his uh, pictures too. And of course you have the Americans. Mm, yeah. Frank. Rest in peace, right? <laughs> yep. It, it's, not, it's not cheap, but mm. it's worth it. Yeah. yeah. I know a lot of uh, photographers who started because of this book. Yeah. yeah. Ah, and, and I love Sergio Larraín. Do you know Sergio Larraín? Uh, yeah, not so much, but uh, yeah. yeah, I heard of him. But, but, uh, he was part of Magnum, but he left Magnum. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Can you see the, the <laughs> same shape here? Yeah. And you have wood and claim. Mm. Yeah. It's not new view, but you know, this is wood and claim. Look at this. <laughs> <laughs> and of course we still miss we still miss so later. <laughs> so this is the early color of so later. Pizza. Pizza. Mmm. Umbrellas, <laughs> like today here. Yeah, 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 I know. Oh, this is, yeah, this is so nice. Yeah, I think you can see scenes like this in Santiago too. Yeah, I am sure. Yeah, or here in Colombia. Do you use these books also to show your yeah, students? Yeah, stuff, all the no? time, yes. Uh, I ask them to look for pictures mm. in, in these books. I think that you you learn a lot from the books. Mm. Fukase, there. Ravens from by Fukase. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Looks like you are selling me books. Now. Yeah, I'm trying to. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to sell you the books. I, I take them. <laughs> oh yeah. I heard that you can get this effect when you flash the uh, use the flash up 
up yeah. in front of the camera. I heard that this you this can effect get this, you yes. Know. You know it's it's quite similar the minutes to midnight and, and ravens. Mm. Although ravens is is uh, it's, it's a sad book, a really really sad book. Mm. That's it, so if you want to take a look at the, at the books, there you are. Okay, see you in five hours. <laughs> <laughs> look at this. Look what we have here. Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Is this the new digital GR5? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh no. It's, it's oh gorgeous. Yeah. Can you see? There is the, the aperture right here. Mm. And yeah, then you can so much like the digital yeah version. and you can underexpose and overexpose right here wow. and they are about the same size mm. even smaller than new the gr3 yeah they are not very different mm. yeah i think this is it would be nice to have um, this one here on the top this little screen yeah Maybe here, and then if you change settings. Ah, yeah, so that you yeah. can change settings uh, without mm. turning the camera on, yeah. Mm. Oh, yeah. It's okay, uh, here, take my money and uh, give me the. <laughs> 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 There's no deal. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think is the most important advice you can give the students here? Okay. If they start out, like the most important skill, maybe? Yeah, okay. Mm. Maybe it's not a skill. I think yeah. it's uh, the most important part of photography is simply enjoy. You have to enjoy as you are taking mm. pictures. You you are not going to stop learning, but you have to enjoy every time. No matter no matter where you are in your in your process, you have to enjoy because photography sometimes is going to be hard, but it always can be funny. So mm. I think it's the, the most important part. Okay. Just think about pictures and not think too much about the equipment or mm -hmm. the technique the, the important part is is to have fun yeah i agree uh, yeah you agree <laughs> i know you agree yeah. <laughs> how do you see maybe the, the the future of street photography do you have an idea where we are heading like technology wise or maybe uh, uh, ethical wise <laughs> i am not sure i think that I hope that the law is not going to be very hard on, on us mm. because uh, I think that uh, some people is worried about, about the law and about the consequences of taking pictures in the street. Yeah. So I hope that the, 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 the future is, is better than, than now, that mm. we are not going to be so worried as we are now. Mm. And about the pictures, I don't know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing what is, what is next. Mm. So, and my main goal is mm. to, to keep evolving. Uh, I, my pictures are, are very different now for, mm. for, for, for what they were in, in two, two years ago. So yeah. I hope I, I so continue learning and mm -hmm. making different pictures from now on and learning different techniques, different approaches and mm -hmm. just changing. I so think. continue to learn and not yeah. stop and... Not to stop. You okay. cannot. You can you can't stop no never, never. <laughs> especially you if you do me. if you if you do something for the love of, of the photography oh. that's that's my goal enjoying and learning evolving i think yeah. it's it's a very big goal yeah. okay so jota has to teach his photography class and uh, now i'm alone here in uh, coronia and i think i'm going to do a little pov session now um, there's not much going on because it's raining and uh, yeah, the weather's not ideal. But I brought my action cam, so let's see what we find.
Enjoy. <laughs> Enjoy. It's time to say goodbye and it's not raining today. Yeah. But it's too late. Uh, yeah, thank you so much for showing me Santiago. My pleasure, it was my pleasure, Samuel. A pleasure to meet you finally. Uh, let us know where can people find you, your website, Instagram, your okay. YouTube channel, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Well, you can find me uh, looking for J Barros, even in Instagram, on YouTube. My blog is as well jbarros.com. Mm -hmm. So there you can find what I'm doing, my workshops, and so on. Any uh, last uh, advice, life advice? Life advice, <laughs> wow. Um, yeah, it's, it's quite similar to the advice that I, that I said uh, previously. You, you don't forget to enjoy whatever you do. Enjoy and, and keep learning, keep, uh, keep improving and uh, don't, don't ever stop. I think it's, it's the main thing. Very nice. Drinking tips for Santiago. Ah, drinking tips for <laughs> Santiago. Maybe the light, light's okay? okay? It's okay, it's okay. It's okay. Drinking <laughs> tips from, uh, for Santiago de Compostela. Yeah. You have to drink liquor cafe. It's yeah. liquor and coffee, yeah. okay? But drink two, not more, okay? <laughs> two. Okay. <laughs> it's enough. And of course, you have to try the Estrella Galicia. That is our, our beer. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you, you cannot leave Santiago without drinking a... Say okay. Galicia, but you have already uh, you, you you have already drinking uh, Agodello. It's a white wine, so mm. it's, it's okay. Okay, I, I will try it. Yeah, you should you <laughs> later when I'm alone by myself. <laughs> Thank, you again. Thank, you again. Thank you so much. Okay, bye, Samuel. Bye, bye, bye. 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 <laughs>